हेलो अनि नमस्कार यहाँलाई स्वागत गर्न चाहन्छु कार्यक्रम सफायर प्रॉपर्टी टॉक्स मा म हु यहाँको होस्ट लरिसा यस कार्यक्रमलाई प्रायोजन गरेको छ सफायर एस्टेट एजेन्सीले जसको मुख्य तीन वटा सूत्र रहेको छ त्यो हो क्वालिटी ट्रस्ट र इन्टिग्रिटी र यही सूत्रको साथ वर्षौं देखि आफ्नो क्लायन्ट्सलाई सर्भिस प्रोभाइड गरिरहेको छ सफायर एस्टेट एजेन्सीले र यहाँले थाहा छदै छ यस कार्यक्रममा चाहिँ हामी प्रॉपर्टी सम्बन्धित विभिन्न विषयवस्तुमा कुराकानी गर्ने गर्छौं छलफल गर्ने गर्छौं भनेर र आज पनि यस एपिसोडमा हामी प्रॉपर्टीसँग नै संगाली रा विविध प्रसंग माचे कुरा कानी गरने छों पके बनी हमले सात तीन हुन्स बनी अपेक्षा लागते सों कार्यक्रम सफायर प्रॉपर्टी टॉक्स मा अलराइट र आज हामीसँग स्टुडियोमा हुनुहुन्छ लबिन बर्दिवाजी पेशाले चाहिँ उहाँ लाइसेंस्ड लयर प्रोपर्टी लयर पनि हुनुहुन्छ र उहाँले धेरै वर्ष भइसक्यो यो पेशामा संलग्न हुनु भएको र उहाँको अनुभव जुन छ नि उताव चढाव देखि लिएर यो पेशामा कसरी संलग्न हुनु भयो देखि लिएर थोरै अलिकति ब्याकग्राउन्ड को बारेमा पनि आज हामी लबिन जी सँग चाहिँ कुरा गर्न चाहदै छौ र साथसाथै उहाँलाई कार्यक्रममा स्वागत गर्न चाहन्छु लबिन जी वेलकम टु द शो थ्याङ्क यू लरिसा थ्याङ्क यू भेरी मच फर ह्याभिङ मी हियर यस एब्सोल्युटली आवर प्लेजर the first of all i'd like to uh, begin with um hunchha ni yahan le bhannu bhayo ki yahan chai property lawyer hunchha first time mero yahan sanga conversation ma pani nikai rochak kura haru bhayo ka thyo i remember very well so alikati yo because hami nepali lai especially nepal bada jati pani sathi haru yahan chau ni waha har lai idea nai chaina ke property law pani huncha ra bhanne bishay ma ek ta dene jankari chaina tesmathe pani lawyer pani hunu hudo rai cha practice garnu hudo rai cha janu pardo rai cha bhanne bishay ma kei pani jankari chaina so exactly thore ra gist batai dinus ta ki bhanera gist ko kura ma larisa bhannu parda nepal bada auni sapai lai property ko lawyer huncha bhanne thaha hunu parcha jaruri cha kina bhani hamro nepal ma pani jun char khala adda cha ni jaha cha property ko sapai records haru huncha tyo government affiliated हाई जहाँ चाहे सब किन बेच देखि लेकर हर एक रेकर्ड्स हो यहाँ पर एक्जैक्टली तस्त हो न्यू साउथ वेल्स में एवरी स्टेट्स में आप आपको एटा गवर्निंग पार्टी जो न्यू साउथ वेल्स एलआरएस भाषा लैंड एंड रजिस्ट्री सर्विसेस जिसमें चाहे हर एक ट्रांजेक्शन्स को प्रपर्टी को सब डिविजन देखि लेकर न्यू बिल्डर को रेकर्ड्स हो प्रपर्टी संबंधित कुछ डिस्प्यूट्स इन्क्रोचमेंट्स इजमेंट्स प्रफिट अफ पेन्ड रेक कवर एंड रेस्ट्रिक्शन्स हर एक लैंड में कस्ट खाले प्रपर्टी बनाने मिले बनाई सके डेमोलिस के प्रोविजन चाहिए कंप्लायस के हो कि बेच कर प्रावधान यूज कर सब प्रपर्टी लयर लाई आई ओपनर को तरीका यूज कर पर्ने कारण प्रपर्टी लय इज मस्ट यूज यदि भैन भी दे आर फ्यू ड्रबैक्स दैट यू कैन कम अक्रस लीगली तब को मोनिटरी भैल्यू को लसेज भी होने जान सकता कारण प्रपर्टी लयर संभाल एकदम राम आइडिया हो वेन यू हेव अ ट्रांजेक्शन बिट्विन पार्ट ए पार्टी ए एंड पार्टी बी ट्रांजेक्शन ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी फ्रॉम ए टू बी एंड द होल प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड कन्वेन्स ओके एंड द लॉयर्स आर कॉल्ड कन्वेन्सेस लाइसेंस कन्वेन्सेस अलाउड बाय द न्यू साउथ वेल्स स्टेट्स ओके ग्रेट यहाँ ले बनो बाकी ड्रॉबैक्स और भी होना सकते हैं कि नहीं कि तो इसका कंसीक्वेंसेस रिपोकर्शंस और आना सकते हैं बन तो विषय में हम एक चीज में चर्चा करने नहीं चल रही जी तरह भाई पैला मैं पर्सनली जान मन लगे इसको जो अकादमिक पक्ष छोड़ तीन लाइसेंस कन्वेन्स सरी कन्वेन्स हो कस्ट लाइक स्टडी कोर्सेस देखि लीएर इन्वल्वमेंट देखे कुछ इन्वल्वमेंट कसरी कर यूनिवर्सिटी लिंक भाई विषय में जानकारी दी वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन क्योंकि पैला कमर्सि थे कोर्स पैला टेफ देखि हर एक यूनिवर्सिटी हर एक सीविल्स अलाउ कर जो फुल टाइम पार्ट टाइम बेसिस में कर कोर्स कन्वेन्सिंग ल भाषा जिस को एक्काईसवटा सब्जेक्ट कर यू साउथ वेल्स में द सेम टाइम विक्टोरिया में गुन पर्यटन तब एटीन सब्जेक्ट्स कर पर्ची तास्मानिया में गुन सातवटा क्विंसलैंड में आठवटा सब्जेक्ट है तो बेला को विच वॉज लाइक टेन इयर्स अगो नाउ द ल हेज चेंज अलग यह होल कोर्स कमर्सि भी बना न्यू साउथ वेल्स में मकवारी यूनिवर्सिटी बाहे अर कस इनरोल कर कोर्स इज कमर्सि मिनिंग यू हेव टू पे टप डलर्स टू गेट द लाइसेंस हाई तेस को लाइक पैला टू इयर्स को फुल टाइम स्टडी अथवा फोर इयर्स पार्ट टाइम स्टडीज कल कन्वेन्सिंग लेस पच्चीस यू हेव टू वर्क अंडर अ फुल टाइम फुल लाइसेंस होल्डर एज अ मेन्टोर सेशन फर टू इयर्स देन यू विल बी एलिजिबल टू गेट द अनरेस्ट्रिक्टेड लाइसेंस वंस यू फिनीस द डिग्री यू वनली गेट रेस्ट्रिक्टेड लाइसेंस दैट मीन्स यू वन बी एबल टू प्क्टिस योर वन फर्म Okay. You have to work under someone who's got the license to practice. Mm-hmm. Then after two years of full-time mentoring, then you'll get your one license to start practicing. Okay, so that that sounds a lot to do. A lot to do. I mean, that's a lot to do. But then there's again a very interesting story behind how you 
actually got enrolled yes. into this whole thing, right? Yes. So this goes. I'm like, I'll get into your rochak katha bani. Ah, that's one of the interesting kahani. So, you know, when I've got a degree in information technology from UTS, I passed out mm-hmm. 2001. Okay. Right. Then, after that, I work in the industry as a salesman, IT mm-hmm. salesperson. Called my kaam gani. Around 2005 and 6, I did uh, finance from Kaplan. Right. Correspondence about finance. My gani. The minute I finished my finance degree, there was a whole GFC, yeah. global financial crisis, around 2007. Mm-hmm. Then my whole motivation got. killed no. I know. Yeah. and i really <laughs> didn't want to go into finance and start you know working in the industry then i decided okay let's do something that i can start my own enterprise skill and mm-hmm. open up my own firm then i went to uni to enroll for a master's in communication law oh, the interesting bit is the communication law master's school like the fee was really really dear mm-hmm. it was expensive oh, and it wasn't even government funded mm-hmm. so every penny i was going to spend was out of my pocket and okay. the first semester it was almost twenty four thousand dollars for four years okay. for communication law and i thought no just What's for the a semester that for is. a semester yeah. yes uh, not that i didn't have enough money to enroll but four years full time that much money you know i didn't mm-hmm. think it was because i was changing my career in the middle of my age mm-hmm. so i thought what's the next after that then mm-hmm. i saw conveyancing law awesome. which was like Cheaper, mm-hmm. obviously government funded, mm-hmm. and two years of full time study, two years of work, and you could get one license and start practicing. That's what actually got me motivated because mm-hmm. I was always a you know entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to work for someone else. I yeah. I can't take bosses, you know. Mm-hmm. Orders and make them happy. So right. I wanted to create my own job. Okay. That's the whole idea behind getting into convincing law. Mm-hmm. And where I am right now, I think I made a very right decision. Right, exactly. And then uh, only in eighteen months, you had to complete your work with you. Yes. Right. So how difficult was it for you to when you pass that all in? Yes. Put on the door for eighteen oh months. Oh my God. Obviously, obviously, you were saying he still they are struggling. Yeah. But I have already gotten into well, it. And now really you're doing lucky. an excellent job yeah, as well. Yeah. I got really lucky because yeah. it was six weeks before I finished my degree. Also. I got my intern. Which was like intern for as uh, a lawyer, you know, mm-hmm. work there as intern without a pay. Okay. Two weeks down the pipeline, the boss actually offered me a job. Wow! You know, I got really lucky. I got really mm-hmm. lucky. So I haven't even finished my degree. I still got to go four weeks. I got full time job. Mm-hmm. Then I juggle my full time job and my studies. By the okay. time I finish it, I'm already there. Yeah. So I worked in like six different law firms before I start my own firm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So academically, say, mala ki lagi wanda. You are very sound and very sharp. Any one person. Of course, of course. This ko lagi because there's so many things, so many provisions, state-wise, for for kuraron. So that's of course, of course. Australia, ma. So how challenging was that for you instantly, oh like as academic, oh, so academic kuraro, academic kuragaro, na. Yes. So to grasp kono ko lagi every day different kuraro, naya kuraro, nola kuraro. For first six weeks, my enrollment it was all Chinese whisper to me. Oh, Everything I was yeah. listening was going over my head. Mm-hmm. I could not grasp it mm-hmm. because it was totally different field for me. You know, from yeah. IT then finance then law. Law, I'm talking Commonwealth law. Mm-hmm. As you know, Commonwealth law. Commonwealth, like what the other days, like colonized got it. Exactly. Every single country they had colonized. Mm-hmm. Follow the Commonwealth law, yeah. like India. We yeah. have a Commonwealth law in India. Also. Same in New South Wales, Australia. Any Commonwealth law. Uh, first few weeks, as I said, was just the Chinese whisper to me. You know, mm-hmm. I didn't grasp anything. Then eight weeks, nine weeks, ten weeks, I started learning. You know, getting things. I get into the vibes of okay, understanding the fact how the law mm-hmm. works. Then I started getting into it. The minute I started getting into it, I got mm-hmm. so much into it I could not get out. Then I started okay, these things really interesting. Then okay. I, you know what I did. For four days of my uni, I used to go to uni six a.m. with my push bike, mm-hmm. ride a, cy- a cycle mm-hmm. okay. to train station to uni, spend the whole day in uni, go mm-hmm. back home midnight. Okay. I did that four days a week: mm-hmm. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Mm-hmm. All my friends were just doing, you know, part-time studies. They were mm-hmm. already in, you know, paralegal positions, some law firms, and they were just doing part-time. And I was just full-time student. Mm-hmm. Then by second or third semester, mm-hmm. I was already top of the class. Okay. And I got a recommendation from one of a very good magistrate and lecturer to get uh-huh. into the first duro. That's amazing. I yeah. mean, this story is very inspirational to me, especially. So, the thing you have to go on back or so that you have effort to go on back or so energy to go back or so. So, that is also some of your position, ma'am. Of course. Right? So now let's uh, get inside the core of it. Uh, okay. Again, coming back to the property law. धेरे जाना मैं चलाऊँगी आपने बोलने था हाथ साइन है तारे था उन्होंने एकदम आवश्यक था कि ना अब मौला की लाख संदर्भ अलग तो इग्नोर पनी गढ़ने बाग की छह था छह तारे नौ जाम तो जामिला हूँ उनसे कि वह पैसा एक्स्ट्रा तीनों पर सकी बोलो आई ड्राइवर नो इट माय सेल्फ एक दूसरे साथी बाइस में बुच्चो था बयाल सब ने त्यो एटीट्यूड्स हो सो तेज़ लाखों जो एड्रेस करना चाहिए हम जहाँ ले दैट्स वे लॉर ऑफ़ पीपल गो रंग आई सब जाने में चले अब आइले को दे मैं एनी प्रॉपर्टी दैट्स वर्थ ओवर अ मिलियन डॉलर एनी मीडियम साइज़ हाउट 
thousand dollars will go on a lay man sell a couple of hundred dollars haggle on a hot. Even my fee, yeah. everyone around my circle, they think I charge top dollars. Right. But then again, the value that comes out of it. Mm-hmm. Right? Of a million dollar property can answer, do you not need a peace of mind? Of course you do. Do you not want to know what sort of property you're buying? Exactly. Do you not want to have mm-hmm. a smooth conveyancing and it doesn't give you hiccups at the end? Mm-hmm. But here are the provisions. In the contractual agreement, you have to have an initial deposit. You have to have a legally bind contract form. Then you settle. Yeah. That's how the whole... Thing mm-hmm. goes, I not sell my bundle, but the hell. But inside, there's so many work to be done. Mm-hmm. Property co definition, sir, no problem. Property mm-hmm. ma. Legality, property mm-hmm. disputes Not only that vendor has any liability to pay against the property that mm-hmm. is getting transferred. property okay. property transfer But there are so many legal aspects that you need to know. Okay. Because when you become a registered owner of that land, that liability might come back. Mm-hmm. And that could be your liability to pay. Yeah. Of 800,000 property, my land tax may come up to 10,000 of dollars. Mm-hmm. If the vendor hasn't cleared that land tax, mm-hmm. that will come to you. So you end up paying that $10,000 for someone else's liability. Mm-hmm. Would you be happy to pay $10,000 on top of the purchase price you paid? To the nightmare. No. Nightmare, nightmare itself, exactly. exactly. So this is what I say to all my clients. Mm-hmm. I personally don't like surprises. So I believe my clients wouldn't like the surprises too. Okay. So, so oh, to get rid of all those surprises, you mm-hmm. definitely need to get a license conveyancer mm-hmm. to look into your matter. To find out there is no any legal diagram that needs to be broken down into layman's term okay. and understand how it goes. Exactly, and that's a very important point to be very noted. Ra, uh, you you involvement pani ko jab yahan the ekdam hi thul thul properties aur ko to kura gaya hai. But there are some certain properties aur pani unsa koi likhe Google pani. This ma pani equally important. Equally important. So pani shi uti ke is ma se hamne dhyan dinu pani unsa na. So usually jab clients aunsa nahi har yahan ko samaksha sabu kosta kura aur liya aunsa kosta unsa ni to challenges aur wa you boy na you mili na ki what do I do about it? Pani something nitty gritty kura aur se usually kosta unsa. Yes, firstly ta hamre Nepali client ma. Yeah. Uh, 90% of the Nepalese buyers, especially first home buyers, mm-hmm. d- they don't even know they need a licensed conveyance to look into their matter. Exactly. Right? This is what I was talking mm. about. Uh-huh. First, they go find out, okay, the property, then mm-hmm. find out the mortgage broker or the lending manager who's going to uh-huh. lend the money. Mm-hmm. And, okay, the contractual agreement. Contractual agreement, my God, no, Agari. Vendor, le, agent, le, mm-hmm. listing agent, le, socha, do you have a legal representative? Uh-huh. And then they get gobsmacked. So, oh. Chaki, oh, really? Do I really need a solicitor or conveyance to look into it? Mm-hmm. Legally, obviously, you need to have it. Kina bani, yeah. Without legal representations, you won't be able to make the whole transaction go through. About mm-hmm. my uh-huh. transaction, I'll represent myself because I have a license to deal with it. Mm-hmm. A lot of people, they don't have they it. Don't, and yeah. they get surprised. By surprise, they think, okay, do I need one? Mm-hmm. Ani, about me being in a market for so many years, a lot of people who have used me in the past, mm-hmm. they always refer me to those clients and yeah. they'll come to me. Okay. And finally, when they come to me and say, okay, I need a conveyance, a license conveyance, I'm going to detail that on you. Mm-hmm. Without having a contract in place, I would not be able to advise them their rights and obligations. Right. You know, and every contract is different. Of course. How's it? I hope I made. Uh, yeah, it completely, completely <laughs> makes sense to okay. me, right? Ram, other people are Since client ke bhi my hali kura gano boyo Nepali ta chhodi ne chhoda. Usually, kosa kisi ko clients hoti hai. You come across every day. Ah, mero matha having my office in the heart of Black Town, right? Okay. Western Sydney. Ah, fifty fifty percent ola, meaning fifty percent Nepalese background ko, fifty percent local. Ah, this mathi pray oil ko market matha, firi Indian na Nepali jaldi or like property kine koi sahi na. Hmm hmm. Kena mene the two thousand six ko jun big. Way back at any international mm-hmm. student, my Indian mm-hmm. Nepali, they all become a permanent residence. Now, yeah. this is about time for them to buy a property. Exactly. That's how everyone's ended up buying from Nepalese background and Indian background. Okay. Okay, so um, yeah, let's say, cost to kisi musu jab dinna chahanu. So, jose ab you business ma lagna chahanu. So, since yeah, apne out of passion pe unser, ma ab aur ko lagi kam korna banta. But I want to stand up for myself. Ma jose cost to kisi mili business agari bano chahanu. But the mindset yeah, ko the ready kyo. Tera kothi jana man chila ma li apni yehi prasanga ma jorna chahe ki yeah, usually students are or a pattern matra follow karta hai dance. Okay. Tera since your citizenship requirement the rahe cha, you pesha ma lagnu ko lagi. Tera similar similar to this, isse pesha ma lagni lagna chahanu honi. Saathi orna. So, cost to jab dinna. Uh, welcome aboard, yeah. uh, it's a big industry, mm-hmm. recession proof industry. Yeah. Just as a pandemic, just as a Mahamari Labani, Karkindo Pane, like in Naples, the best upon Labas Naples. But the exactly. market is always there. Right. Then again, if we stand out among the rest of the other licensed conveyancers or solicitors, you always do good. Wow. About uh, market is there, especially real estate business. Real mm-hmm. estate people have lots of money. Mm-hmm. And they can spend a lot of money if you look after them well. 
अब मेरे केस में भी मेरे प्राय क्लाइंट्स और रिटेन क्लाइंट हो आई रिटेन माई क्लाइंट्स एक्चुअली सर्विस दे आर अल बिजीज मी अल देर लाइफ टाइम इन योर लाइफ टाइम कति चोटी तभी घर जगह किन बेच कर इफ यू कैन जस्ट टैप दैट मार्केट यू डोट नीड न्यू मार्क न्यू बिजनेस इंटीग्रिटी ये अफकोर्स इट इज अल अबाउट इंटीग्रिटी द ट्रस्ट फैक्टर द रिगार्ड लेस वट बिजनेस यू आर इन इफ यू कैन हैव दैट in a report with your clients you want to survive and that totally shows off in your personality as well oh, and now you. talking about personality i'd also <laughs> like to add that besides being a licensed conveyancer, or a conveyancer you are also a musician yeah i'm a musician i'd like to call myself a musician yes yeah that's amazing mm-hmm. and now tell us about it you got sari bhayo as a well, profession because you are so vibrant and energetic full of life agi pani mali yala bhani so music ko connection se yaha ko kasari huna pugyo ta well music connection i grew up listening lots of rock songs and mm-hmm. i have numbers of rock artists that i follow mm-hmm. And watch them live, you know. I've always loved music. Music is, I think, it runs in Bardeva family, you know. Yeah. I've got a big names in my family. They've been musicians for quite some times. Mm-hmm. Uh, this ma bani mero chahi. I hang out with few of my friends who happen to be a drummer, okay, a guitarist, you know, yeah. bassist, keyboardist, and all. Then I happen to write song songs. Songs so, as well. Yeah. So I write all my songs. So mm-hmm. apparently, I've got three album under my belt with awesome. two different bands. Mm-hmm. Pehla ko mero band we formed in two thousand one. Then we de band around 2006. Okay. Then we form another band in 2007. We still running. Okay. It's called Alto, and I've got two albums under them. Okay. And we've been doing gigs around New South Wales, Sydney, Melbourne for almost 40 of gigs. Mm-hmm. And last gig we did was in Hong Kong, 2016. My Hong mm-hmm. Kong NRN Co Festival. Ma, we performed there with so many renowned artists back from Nepal. Okay. And we ac- actually killed it. We actually wow. killed it. So tell us more about your band. Who co owns it? Who co well, performs it? My band, Alto Band, co name is Alto A L T O. I've got all walks of life in my band members. Five mm-hmm. of us, five mm-hmm. piece band. My rhythm guitarist, he is a big name back in Nepal. He owns it. Co X Marika Band, the band that is co lead guitarist. Oh, mm-hmm. well, he works for an IT company, uh, okay. Crown. Crown co like. और को आपका ड्रामा हिज नेम इज शरद गुरुंग ही इज अफिस वर्कस को मैनेजर आपका बेस गिटार इज संदेश ही लिव्स इन तास्मानिया रियल स्टेट को काम कर एट द सेम टाइम ही ओन्स अ रेस्टुरेंट आपको नाद बैंड मेम्बर सुशीत तंडुकार हिज रिदम गिटार इज एंड इज अ सेफ बाई प्रोफेसन एंड हेयर आई एम आई एम अ फ्रंट मैन ऑफ माई बैंड आई राइट माई म्यूजिक I sing in a band, and I'm a licensed conveyancer by profession. Wow! So <laughs> looking back down the lane, I know you are like, "What? What? How satisfied are you with yourself, your career choice, your band, your everything?" Well, being a licensed conveyancer and being a part-time major, mm-hmm. it is so much into you know each other's. And they are two different drastic professions. Of course, of so course. Yeah. See, fifty percent of my clients, you know, they know me as a major first, right? Wow. The uh-huh. minute they see my name somewhere in the paper or whatnot, and say, "Hey, Lavin Verdebai, he's a major. I've seen mm-hmm. him perform so many times. Yeah. He's a cool dude. We definitely gotta get him to do our job." Yeah. See, that's where the integrity formed from. Oh, the trust factor, the ambrosia. The networking so. built by Alza. And this much is straight away ambro working relationship building. By Alza. And so, mainly, I did that. I mean, go come go. That's why fifty percent of my fans are. Many come go around. So, okay, okay. they the minute they know, oh, it's Lavin. You know, he's a uh, musician and all. Mm-hmm. Now he also does the uh, convincing. They. Mm-hmm. Automatically gives me the balance. So that's like a balancing factor also. Okay, the balance is also equally important, right? So you are like the loose boy, and our company is like the mathy tall boy, and so on and so on. So now, so now, the character we have been on the other side of the night is that you know, because of your time, we didn't have time. It was lovely having you here. Thank you. Until now, we have done a lot. Our Darshan Vinod, the character we have done, what kind of message did we have? Well, the message we have done is that the property life, our manchele, mainly house buying, not only or rather. बेचने किन्न को लाई मात्र सोता हेरी होते हैं प्रपर्टी इज देयर आई आई टेक इट एज अ नो ब्रेन एज अ इन्वेस्टमेंट मेरे विचार में प्रपर्टी में इन्वेस्ट कर यूर सिक्योरिंग अ फाइनेंसियल फ्रीडम अफ फ्यूचर टू डे If you have a little bit of money, especially mm-hmm. in Australia, if you you live in a country where the banking system is amazing, that mm-hmm. because two years co tax system ramro cha, do it ta paisley ramro dinon cha bani. Aaj ag din ma fifteen to twenty minutes mo kune bani bank le ta bali lend garna kalai expression of interest din cha. Okay. Having said that, kune bani property if you like it, do the valuation of the property. If the mm-hmm. valuation is right and you have a loan in place, buy it, buy it. Okay. Ah, uh, mile bani I started my portfolio as a investors only in two thousand nine. Mm-hmm. Now end up having a portfolio of almost five properties. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, having said that, I'm not a rich person, but everything is owned by You're bank. You're just being very humble. Yeah, I think. I'm being <laughs> humble. Exactly. So everything is owned by bank. But okay. at the end of the day, in 10 to 15 years' time, when okay. my son grows up, yeah. he will know. Okay, my dad has 
acquire this much of empire. So yeah. he can cast that in. Yeah. So that's basically everybody can do it. Okay. So property is a no-brainer, as I say, mm -hmm. uh, as an investment. Uh, as a profession, Pani, it's a very amazing uh, industry to be in mm -hmm. uh, where uh, you can definitely make a career path. Okay, beautiful. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you very much, thank Carissa. So much. And thank you very much, Lauri TV. All right. So, with you, Bandhe, as we ask Karakram Bhatta, but you have to be the bank of the Bible. So, Karakram, you have to also like, so please, you have to put your own mulia sujaga. So, I have a comment box for any kinds of concerns or queries or anything that you need to say. And with that, as we ask Karakram Bhatta, you have to be the bank of the Bible. So, Namaskar. तेसो भए तपाई एउटा सुन्दर घर किन्न चाहनुहुन्छ कस्तो घर ठूलो घर राम्रो घर ठिक्कको घर अथवा बनौ चिटिक्कको घर दिन रात एक गरेर खोजिरहनु भएको छ कुनै एकदमै ठूलो छ कुनै आउट अफ बजेट अनि कुनै एकदमै टाढा अब टेन्सन सुरु हुन्छ कसलाई भेट्ने कुन-कुन कुराहरुमा ध्यान दिने कसलाई सोध्ने हे भगवान टाउको चटक्क दुख्न थाल्छ त्यसपछि अचानक तपाईको नजर सफाय रियल स्टेटमा पर्छ फोन गर्नु हुन्छ घर हेर्नु हुन्छ परिवारलाई देखाउनु हुन्छ घर सारै राम्रो ठाउँ ज्यादै सुन्दर अनि मख्ख पर्दै घरको चाबी तपाईको हातमा हेर्नुस् त तपाईको मन परेको घर किन्ने सपना बिना झन्झट कति सजिले पूरा भयो विगतका दुई तीन वर्ष देखि हामीले लेपिंगटन अस्ट्रल एडवेन्चर पार्क बाडिया साउथ वेस्ट सिडनीमा धेरै बिल्ड गर्न क्लायन्टहरुलाई हेल्प गरिरहेका थियौ र विथ द डिमान्ड एन्ड Capturing for to capture the new market, I'm in Leavington 43 Airway League, Leavington. Ma, I'm in my office. Call it at some. Ma, yeah, but I'm in buy, sell, rent, build. Gonna client or help. Gonna need some. Hi, this is Ranjit Raj Onta from Safari Estate Agents. We are selling this whole project exclusively from Leavington office. We are now in Southwest Sydney in Leavington. Please contact us for all your real estate need. Thank you very much. त्यसैले भन्दैछौ हाउसिङ सम्बन्धी सम्पूर्ण जानकारीहरु किन्ने बेच्ने रेन्टमा दिने फाइनान्सिङका बारेमा सम्पूर्ण जानकारीहरु दक्ष रियल एस्टेट एजेन्टहरुबाट प्राप्त गर्नको लागि एउटै मात्र विश्वासिलो नाम सफायर रियल एस्टेट इन्टिग्रिटी ट्रस्ट एन्ड क्वालिटी